In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the information contained in Section 9, or Supplements, of the Pilot's Operating Handbook for the Cessna 172S aircraft. This is the last section that we will cover. In it, we see the introduction which states, the supplements in this section contain amended operating limitations, operating procedures, performance data, and other necessary information for airplanes conducting special operations for both standard and optional equipment installed in the airplane. So we're going to go over both the standard and optional equipment. Operations should refer, excuse me, operators should refer to each supplement to ensure that all limitations and procedures appropriate for their airplane are observed. A non-FAA approved log of approved supplements is provided for convenience only. This log is a numerical list of all the FAA approved supplements applicable to this airplane by name, supplement number, and revision level. This log should be used as a checklist to ensure all applicable supplements have been placed inside the pilot's operating handbook. Pu supplements for both standard and installed optional equipment must be maintained to the latest revision. Those supplements applicable to additional equipment which is not installed in the airplane do not have to be retained. Each individual supplement contains its own log of effective pages. This log lists the page number and revision level of every page in the supplement. The log also lists the dates to which the revisions to the supplement occurred. Supplement page numbers will include an S and the supplement number preceding the page number. The part number of the supplement provides information on the revision level. Refer to the following example, and here we can see we have a Cessna 172S, which is basically a NAV3 GFC 700 AFCS, the U.S. Pilot's Operating Handbook, so that's the Pilot Operating Handbook, and serial numbers and so forth. Here we have the dash S1 for the supplement 1 and the revision level of the supplement which is 00. And so we can see we're in section 9 because we are at 9-1 slash 9-2. And here we can see that we start in on the uh, log of supplements and it, there's a note here that says it is the airplane's owner's responsibility to make sure that he or she has the latest revision to each supplement of a pilot's operating handbook and the latest issued log of approved supplements. This log of approved supplements was the latest version as of the date it was shipped by Cessna. However, some changes may have occurred and the owner should verify this is the latest, most up-to-date revision by contacting Cessna Propeller Aircraft Customer Services. And here's the number. And here we can see the supplement list and there's five. <clears throat> now we can actually see one of the first supplements because it's S-1-1 and we can see that there's information on the ELT we've got a service bulletin configuration list another thing on the ELT we've got operating limitations emergency procedures normal procedures and performance and then we go on to the second supplement which is S- S2-1 and there will be five of these because we had five on that original list so that's all there is to the pilot's operating handbook there's a lot of information you're gonna to have to go through it read it several times internalize it visualize it in the airplane so it becomes more intuitive to you and with a little bit of time and experience um, you should learn most of these things by memory and then you'll just have to go back and quickly refresh yourself if you get a little bit rusty um, but it's not complicated and that's all there is to it